Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls. And welcome to this another brand new day. Yes, indeed. Where the sun is not exactly shining with the uh, daily weather report for Shelton, Washington. There's no rain. It didn't rain at all yesterday. In fact, it was hot, humid, and the air was stagnant. It wasn't moving. It was terrible. So hot. I slept so poorly last night. Just a combination of a whole bunch of things. So, thumbs up. Tossing and turning. Woke up like 15 minutes after I fell asleep. So, yay. <laughs> uh, life is life, though. Could be worse, conceivably. I could have the covfefe bug. I'm just going to brush my hair. Well, comb my hair to make sure it, you know, and it's all of its glory and wonder doesn't look too terrible. <laughs> Happy days. Oh, as a quick aside, yesterday I was looking at Dr. Snurf and he, he's been two uh, more balding spots where the fur had come back and now it's cleared out again. So I've been treating him harder with more stuff. <sighs> I don't know. I'm just going to do what I can for him. Definitely a thumbs up. Now, I did have a couple things written down on my my list of stuff to talk about. Plus, I've got a goofy thing that I want to sort of go through and play with. There's a thing called voice mod where <coughs> there are sound boards that you can have for like streaming and videos where you press a button and it's a physical button and it'll play a sound or you can change your voice or it'll play music or some such thing. And I, I sort of want to stream deck because I'm going to stream one day. Not that anyone will watch, it'll be a waste of money, but still it'll be fun. Voice mod is like a software sound deck in that you can click buttons and change your voice and there's all sorts of, like there's a sound board that you can click and it'll play various sound files, but... <coughs> Excuse me, I have seasonal allergies and weed cough. But I'm going to click a couple of these just so that you can see what they sound like uh, when there's changes. Like, I don't know what blocks is, but I'm going to blocks it. So this is blocks. I do not know what blocks sounds like. So hopefully it's not terrible. And then there's the cave. So cool on the cave. Um, this one is Magic Chords, so hopefully it's not really terrible. This one is a picture of Thanos and it's called Titan, so I don't know what it, it even looks like. And then there's a whole bunch of other ones like... There's Cathedral, so hopefully Cathedral is okay. Cop Walkie Talkie, it's got all sorts of things like that one. I have a fan that runs in the window already, so making a software fan? I, I don't know the point on that. But then there's hello, and, and that's kind of cool. Possessed. So let's see what possessed sounds like. Then there's spaceman, and telephone, and then last of course, I had to scroll back to the top to turn on no effects. Anyway though, I just thought I'd, I'd point out that it was really, really cheap and on sale and so I spent a tiny bit of money to try and do things for my channel. <sighs> It's just a little bit of not being able to eat. <laughs> uh, also, just as a weird thing that I pointed out, I I try to take careful take care of my ears. Like if I'm out walking and like a fire engine goes by or cop car, I'll try to plug my ears because I don't want to damage my hearing any more than I have to. 
I mean, hopefully he smokes. I, I don't want to go deaf. So I'm very, very careful of my hearing that way. One thing just as a weird, weird, weird side note, the sun is really, really loud. If there was a medium where the sound of the sun could travel through space, if there was a way for sound to travel, the sun would be screaming in the sky <clears throat> at 125 decibels constantly. 85 decibels, good lord. <clears throat> 85 decibels is enough to cause hearing damage over an extended period of time. So 125 decibels screaming in the sky, we would all be deaf before too long. We wouldn't even be able to hear each other. And the sun is loud. <laughs> just as a, as a weird thing. I just think it's interesting. I like science. I like facts. I like trivia. And as a thing, I talk a lot about the many worlds hypothesis, especially in concurrence, not concurrence, in reference to my cosmic horror pantheon and the multiverse zizz that they all take place in. And it's really weird because the many worlds hypothesis is growing in popularity among mathematicians. It's not a fringe theory that people don't believe in. It is being more and more accepted as what happens. And yeah, it is literally, if from the micro to the macro, if something has a decision to make, the universe splits. They used to believe, these scientists and mathematicians, in the collapsing of the wave front when it came to quantum mechanics, in that if everything was just a cloud of possibilities, and when you observed it, it collapsed the wave front and became the one thing. The problem is, trying to explain it that way, it raises more questions than can be answered with the math. Like, what, what, what counts as observing? Well, there's no way to answer that. There's no math for that. Is it here? Is it the actual detection? Is it somewhere along the cord? Is it when atoms bump into each other? What's... There's no way to answer that. It raises more questions. Whereas the many worlds hypothesis just sticks straight with the math. And every single question that they have ties back into the math. And the math adds up. So collapsing the wavefront, that one's going out. Many worlds hypothesis coming back in. Now I've mentioned how in my cosmic horror pantheon that there's several layers of realness to the multiverse. There's the Ungara which is the most real universes. And then out from that, there's the Ungare. And then where we are is the Ungaden, the cold and dark. And then past that, there is the Ungadi, where their, their reality is so thin, so rarefied, that where we live, if the cosmic horrors tried to enter our universe, the heat and the pressure of their existence, our universe would just instantly melt into a sea of quarks, and then the quarks would burn, the ashes would burn, and then that would continue just and there'd be nothing. Flash burn to, to nothingness. In the Ungadi, those universes are so ethereal and so rarefied that if we, in the cold and dark, tried to enter theirs, same thing, flash, burn, and gone. But everything being relative to the beings in those universes that are so rarefied and ethereal, they're, from their point of reference, it's all, you know, solid. So points of reference. <laughs> but going back on with that, so, with the many worlds hypothesis thing, it all adds up. Everything all adds up mathematically, energy-wise as well, because there is a set number, number, a set 
amount of energy in the universe. We don't know why, but there is a set limit. You cannot create it, you cannot destroy it, you can only manipulate it. And each time the universe splits, each split is just a little bit more rarefied, but in reference to itself, it's fine. And everything splits infinitely. So thumbs up. <laughs> and there's another, because they're even not even set fully on what makes up you know, an, an individual universe with a, with a split because there are other things as well that explains universes. Because in a vacuum, vacuum has a power potential, but we're not at the lowest state and everything likes to go to its lowest rest state. At any time, our universe, something could happen where it collapses to a lower rest state. And then there's going to be a bubble growing at light speed of that new space with the new power potential. So it just expands at light speed, wiping out everything that it touches. Now, the universe is also expanding. Always. And it expands at greater than light speed. It's not traveling. There's more literal space being created so that things are moving farther apart, but they're not moving. They're not traveling. There's just more space being created. So you can have a bubble of destruction moving at light speed outward, and it'll never hit anything because everything is expanding it faster than light speed. So they posited a vast expansion not exploding, but a vast, expanding, constantly expanding universe where these, well, not universe, but big building block area. And inside of it, they have these dimmer areas where the power, the power level drops to a lower rest state. And then these expand outward at light speed. But the entirety of the whole universe is expanding at greater than that. So these bubbles of potential can expand forever and become infinitely large and they will never ever ever interact with another one because even though they're expanding at light speed you can have one separated by just one millimeter away expanding at light speed but there's so much space being created between them that they're slowly getting farther apart even as they expand at light speed so each of these bubbles could be like our universe, our universe, where it just collapsed and it's a slowly expanding bubble within this vast block of potential power. Bizarre. So there's a lot of weird thinking on it, but I go with the many worlds hypothesis of just splitting with my cosmic horror pantheon. Definitely a thumbs up. And of course, there's one, well, there's two of them of the 12 cosmic horror pantheon that I talk about that are basically pacifists. There's one Aragots and Gima Ray. Aragots is basically a gigantic fat obese spider. And Gima Ray is like a, it, well, it's a fungal body, a vast fungal body. Now, er, they're both pacifists because Aragots just gathers information and is constantly gathering information with all these webs just bringing in information. Thing is, these things don't use machines as such. But all this information from a billion, billion, billion expanding universes is coming in and being stored. But it's being stored in such a way that just like, you know, a computer, it can be accessed so that anybody asks a question, well, what happened? And it says, oh, just a moment. And you can just sort through the near infinite amount of information and just bring up what's important and being asked about. But all this information is being stored as informational fat within Aragots' body. Eventually, Aerogots is going to become so big that the universe that Aerogots lives within will be Aerogots. Aerogots will be the universe, and the universe will be Aerogots because it's so big, it fills the entirety of the universe. But being limit, unlimited and boundless within their own frameworks, 
there's always more room for him to expand into. Thumbs up for that. Past that though, no vast spinning around for various camera stuff. My back is still hurting so bad. So, so bad. My arm feels better and my hand feels better, but my back is just terrible right now and it hurts down my leg and almost up to my shoulder. So thumbs up for that. Anyway, though, I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab, and I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker, and even though I count in American Sign Language with my depression, fibro, brain damage from alcoholism, and more, <clears throat> I'm amazed I can remember anything at all. So I do my best. Let me call it my Chrome. Hopefully I've opened up 24 hours. I did. Nikki Mays, thumbs up and thank you. Ali Shabiri, good to see you in the comments. Jose the Great, thumbs up. Zombie Wolf, definitely a good thing to see you. Bartok Sobira, I sure hope I'm close. Probably not, but Sebas do electric slide thumbs up and thank you now get funky thumbs up and thank you confused owl 29 good to see you in the comments little jacob official thumbs up primitive greatly appreciated jonathan martin thumbs up and thank you we have ahmed tassin i sure hope i'm close thank you kathy kitzkat good to see you in the comments rogerio sequeros lopez i'm nowhere close but thank you very much Human underscore being, greatly appreciated. Lega sizing? I think that's probably some scientific biological term, but thank you very much. MBE, greatly appreciated. Rob, Rob, Rob Rogers, thumbs up and thank you. We have Adam Martin, thumbs up and thank you. Wings7, greatly appreciated. Lee Beckley, thumbs up. We have Rizky McCharmley, <laughs> a heck of a name, thumbs up. Rosendahl Jr., greatly appreciated. Russian timing, always good to see you in the comments. And last but not least, Colin Reisenauer, thumbs up and thank you, each and every one of you. You get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people. It is appreciated to no end. Definitely a thumbs up. If you could check out my various links, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. If you want to help me out financially but you didn't want to send money to one of those two places, I have a PayPal link down below. That would be cool if you could check it out. And if you wanted to help me out but you didn't want to send money, I have an Amazon wish list link down below as well. With things like cat food, hamster food, hamster bedding, silly things, not silly things. If you could check it out, that would be very cool. Do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them on the bank of my heart where I draw interest. Thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. Definitely a thumbs up. And of course, if you could subscribe to the channel and <coughs> hit that bell. That would be very cool. Greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not wish to, but if you are done with it, I will do my best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. Thumbs up for that. Well, I have this video. I have a video to edit and render for this channel. I fell asleep yesterday, and when I fall asleep in my chair with no sleep apnea mask, it affects me cognitively, especially if I stop breathing for any period of time. When I fall asleep and I stop breathing, I have ma massive, massive difficulties concentrating and just having motivation to get things done. So I didn't get anything done for my game channel, falling asleep. Thumbs up for that. But you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend. And just as a really quick one, I'm trying to bring up the voice mod thing again while trying to not bring up my great big like browsers and stuff so that it's not shining light onto my face so aphonic i i don't know what aphonic does birthday rock dark angel Frankie goes to Hollywood. Ogre. Romantic. Ooh la la. Take care. I will see you on the flip side, my friend.